Hey, welcome back to the H1 video, and today we are checking out the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED. I know, it might not be worth the upgrade, but it's definitely gonna be worth the screen upgrade. Let's check it out. Okay, so like I said, welcome back to the H1 video, and today, yes, I got the new Nintendo Switch OLED, the white model, so as you can see, the dock's gonna be white and so are the controllers, but that is obviously not the exciting thing about this Nintendo Switch. The most exciting thing about this Nintendo Switch is the OLED display. And it's gonna be larger. There's also a better kickstand, which I guess is cool, but oh, I'm so excited for the OLED display. Behind me, I have an OLED TV. I have an OLED phone. I'm all about that OLED life. But uh, as you can see here in the back, you can do tabletop mode, which is nice. And it's gonna be way more improved with that new kickstand, which can go all the way back. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, TV mode, which, Honestly, if you play your Switch on TV mode, don't buy this. It's only really worth it if you play with your Nintendo Switch a lot handheld, because that screen is gonna be gorgeous. Now, the one bummer part is that the, the screen is not 4K. Uh, this isn't gonna be more of like a revolutionary type of upgrade, or excuse me, not an evolution, more of a revolution. So you're really only getting like a better screen and stuff like that. Um, I have the version one of the Nintendo Switch, so like the day one version. Uh, so for me, it was kind of an upgrade because the battery life isn't the best on the handheld version for the day one Switch. So I, um, overall, I think it's gonna be a pretty decent upgrade for me. Uh, Cause again, I play a lot in handheld. If you don't play a lot in handheld, probably probably skip it wait for the uh nintendo switch pro or whatever they call it but anyway let's get into the unboxing so a longer box typically a nintendo switch box is like long ways like a rectangle this one is more like like this way let's get into opening it here we go oh trying to make sure it doesn't hit the screen. Ooh, okay. Here is obviously the screen part, well, I guess the main switch part. We're gonna put this to the side because I wanna I wanna experience that on its own, but. Here are the Joy-Cons, Joy-Switch controllers, the Joy-Con controllers. And the, again, since I got the white version, these are gonna be all white. And then, I mean, yeah, they look nice. You know, it's a typical Joy-Con controller. I'll be honest, I haven't bought Joy-Con controllers in a while. Uh, so I don't know, they look good to me. Let me know what you guys think. Put these over to the side. Move this over. I think it just has like instructions and other stuff like that. Put this down. And then let's get uh, the, well, let's get all the other boring accessories and we'll get to the dock. So, so I'm doing this all out of order so it looks all complicated. Um, we got a HDMI cable, super sweet. That Nintendo provides you with HDMI cable still. Not everyone does that, believe it or not. Uh, we got the power cable. So this is gonna be a USB-C power cable that you can use to connect either to your Switch directly or onto the dock for when you're doing TV mode. And then there's the, oh, the grip. So this just allows you to easily slide your Nintendo uh, Joy-Cons in here, just like that. Put one in, put the other one in, and you can play kind of like this, kind of like a little makeshift controller, which is pretty nice. And then, ooh, here, oh, here are the, the protectors, so you basically attach these to your Switch so when you're throwing it around or playing those crazy games, it doesn't run off on you. And then lastly is the new dock, and the dock has been new and improved as well, so we're gonna take a look at that. And I do have my older Switch just to make some comparisons as well. But let's see here. Ooh, oh man, this white just looks so clean. Oh, I don't, I think, I don't know if the camera was gonna really be able to pick up the subtlety-ness, but wow, I really dig this. So, um, you know, again, since I got the white version, I have a white dock. If you got the uh, neon Joy-Con version, the dock is just a standard black, which is why I wanted the white one. Um, two USB ports here on the side, and then you have the back panel, which is more of a half moon shape, and I think the whole, yep, the whole thing comes out uh, to make putting the cables in a little bit easier. And you got your AC adapter, HDMI out, and you have a new LAN input. So if you're playing, you're a streamer, you like to stream all your Nintendo games, now you can connect a uh, gigabit ethernet directly to this, which is nice. And then, yeah, just, you know, you just slot your switch in and you're good to go. Let's take a look at the OLED now. Oh, I'm so excited to take a look at this display. Here we go, checking out the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED. And the gorgeous OLED display. Here we go, turning on the power button now. Oh, it looks good. Guys, this looks really good. It's definitely a lot glossier. So if you know OLEDs, each individual pixel is backlit on its own. So the nice part about that is when it's black, the pixel just turns off. 
So you get the richest blacks that you'll ever get on any other type of display. Uh, the one downside to OLED displays is the burn-in. So if you leave it on on a specific like game too long or something like that, you do run the risk of burning in uh, that image into the display. And the other downside is brightness. They don't get as bright, um, but I don't play outside. I play at home. God, this feels heavier. Like almost like the full screen is like metal. I don't know, it feels a lot more sturdier than my current Nintendo Switch. But it's telling me to put all these Joy-Cons on, so I'm doing that now. Oh, yes. Wow, it's br like vivid, vivid colors. Ooh, that is loud. I'm gonna turn you down. It was at max volume. English, wow. <laughs> the Americas, wow. But I do wanna bring my other Switch here before I start this whole process, because I'm just gonna do a pour over of my old Switch. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a pour over of my old Switch, but I do wanna just kinda compare the displays here. Um, now, it's not gonna be a one-to-one -one because this is already set up, but just to kinda give you guys an idea of screen size and stuff like that, um, ignore the, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I do have a um, screen protector on this one that is all scratched up, but, and it's only from sliding in and out of the dock. So I really hope they made this dock a little bit better, but I mean, I got it on my top view here. And as you can see, there's definitely a big, big display difference. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna zoom in up here. There we go. So, I mean, check that out. I mean, big, big time display difference. Wow. And then just the clarity of these displays is, is night and day. I mean, I'm looking at this display and it, and it looks good. I, I, I never had really had an issue with the Switch display because it's so small, but you know, you look at something like this and it just kind of powers on and the brightness turns up and you immediately realize that this is a game changer. Um, I'll put both of these in sleep mode for now, just to kind of check them out. One thing to note is that the new Nintendo Switch OLED, I guess is one millimeter wider than the other Nintendo Switch or the classic one. So if you have accessories like um, docks or something like that, that fit this perfectly, the new Switch won't work with them. Uh, people have tested it, people are annoyed. It is what it is. But here's the bottom of the switches. I mean, it looks pretty nice. I will say, I think the whole, this Switch, it does feel a bit heavier, but it feels so much sturdier than my older, like this feels like a really premium gaming console. Whereas this one just feels plasticky and cheap. I don't really know how to say it. But here's the dock I was talking about, or the dock, here's the kickstand. So, you know, it's kind of a flimsy little kickstand. It's, it's nice, it's nice that they thought of it, but I mean, check out this kickstand right here. It is the whole back, oops, the whole back of the display, or the, of the Switch console. And it is sturdy. I mean, you can do a lot of angles with this bad boy. I mean, if you really wanted to play extreme version, look at that. And just go all the way back down. Now, I will be curious to see how that holds up over time. I uh, just, I honestly, I don't know. The kickstand, I guess, held up pretty good, but we'll see about this one. But I mean, so far, this display is super nice and super rich. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to set up my Switch and yeah, maybe do a, a little comparison when they're both fully set up and I'll get back to you guys and let you know my full final thoughts after playing a couple games. And yeah, so, okay, let me switch up, switch up, pun on it, did it. Let me get all my stuff over to my new Switch and then uh, uh, coming back soon. All right, bye. All right, so I'm back and I'm checking out the new software. So let's check out Luigi's Mansion 3. Finally got everything downloaded. It did take kind of a while, but here we go. Setting it all up, checking a software can be played. Hopefully it can. The first game I'm playing on here. Well, so like I said, the best part about the OLED when it needs to be black, it's black. And if you can see here real quick, it does have like the light em omitting through because it's just a regular LCD panel. But let's see here. So Luigi's Mansion already booted up a little bit faster here on my regular Switch. But again, it's the first time playing any games on the OLED. So let's see. So I forgot since I'm playing on one console with the same software, I have to kind of only use one at a time. But I mean, so far it's looking really nice. Super rich gameplay. Currently, I'm playing it on Vivid, so the LCD screen is going to be Vivid, so just much punchier, brighter colors, which is super nice. But while this is kind of loading up, I do want to talk about the dock. As I mentioned, there are some slight differences here. So one of the big ones being this one has little pads on all four corners as like the grippies, whereas this one, the whole bottom is like a little like anti-slip grip pad, which is kind of nice. And then the Nintendo Switch logo is going to be a lot smaller on the newer dock versus the larger one. And then it looks like the inside 
might have the same rail mechanism. I don't know, but hopefully it's better because as you can see from the uh, older switch I've got, it's totally scratched up on the screen. Luckily I got a screen protector and I got a screen protector for this guy coming along the way. But I mean, the bigger screen is definitely, definitely more noticeable. I mean, it's like I said, it just feels like a more premium console. Uh, playing this on the OLED, the, it does look a lot more vivid and a lot brighter, which is nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm super, super excited to be playing the rest of my Nintendo Switch games on this bad boy. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of get to playing. I've kind of gone over a lot of the benefits, a lot of the similarities from the old Switch uh, versus the newer one. But again, overall fit and feel feels a lot more polished, a lot nicer of a console. So I definitely recommend if you have the version one to definitely go out and get the OLED version. Now, if you play a lot in handheld, maybe this could be a good upgrade for you. But I mean, if you're just playing it mostly hooked up to your TV, don't bother. It's not enough of an upgrade. Um, it's only $50 more. So like I said, if you're in the market for a Nintendo Switch, like a regular one, definitely upgrade, get, pay the extra 50 bucks, get the OLED. If not, uh, I think I would hold off and wait until they create either more performance graded Switch or something like that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you love to please like, if you love to go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, I'm gonna get to play. Bye. Oh, <laughs>